Hey everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sire Girls. And we have a bunch of really exciting Zodiac inspired DIYs for you today. Yeah, these make really good gifts. They're really personalized. Obviously, Zodiacs have been a thing since forever, yeah. but they're definitely having a little moment. The constellations are just like so beautiful and a nice aesthetic, so we wanted to do some DIYs incorporating those. Yeah, some people are really into the Zodiac and like what they mean, and some people just like them because they're pretty to look at. Some people don't like them and that's fine. <laughs> you probably didn't click on this video. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the first one. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna start off with a pretty cool embroidery patch that you can make um, with fabric. I didn't know that this was really an option, but it turns out to be a really cute patch idea. We're gonna start with an embroidery hoop and some stiff-ish fabric. We picked the constellation sign that we wanted to trace, in this case we're doing a Libra, and then use the pencil to add dots where we would want to make the stars. We then took some white embroidery thread and made three little stitches to form a star wherever there was a dot. We connected the dots with a straight line as per the constellation. After the constellation was done, we chose to add tiny little dot stitches to represent more stars. This is totally optional. And once it was complete, we traced out a smaller circle just around the design. We took some heat bond material that will turn any fabric into a patch. Follow the directions and iron on the heat bonding material onto the back of the embroidery patch. Once it's cooled, you can cut out the circle. Your patch is ready for gifting or applying to your item. If you don't want to use the heat bond material, you can also use uh, fabric glue. That works as well. It's just like a slightly more permanent situation because patches sometimes are kind of easier to peel off than using fabric glue. So, a little hack for you. All right, we are going to show you how to make this gorgeous necklace inspired by the Zodiac constellation. To do this, we started with some chain from our expensive versus cheap jewelry video and added some crimp beads to start. Check that video linked above and below for more deeds. Next, we took some gold wire and started shaping pieces into the Cancer constellation. This included creating a little V with hoops on the top so we could attach it to the necklace. Then we made one straight piece with a hoop to hook it over the V section to complete the overall constellation. There's a little bend in the straight piece just like the constellation as well. With some jump rings, we added the whole design onto the chain and then took some of these super cute star rhinestones and super glued them to where the stars would be in the constellation. The super glue is also super handy for holding the whole shape in place so it doesn't come unbent over time. And also we didn't do the wire out of real gold or sterling silver or anything, so if you get it wet, it might tarnish. Next up, we're gonna make some really cool personalized watercolor art. This is honestly a really easy DIY, but I think the payoff is big. It looks very complicated and very impressive. With some watercolor paper, choose your color scheme. We decided to do a dark blues and blacks a la a galaxy. I'm no expert at this, but I started with the edges in a darker color and then decided to add some light blue color in the middle since it's easier to go lighter to dark and not darker to light. And I wanted this lighter blue color to show through later on. I then kept adding in different shades of dark blue and blacks. And the best part about watercolor is that you can't mess it up that much. Once I had something with slightly galaxy vibes, I let it dry. And then when dry, I drew out my constellation in pencil. This time I did an Aquarius, and I used the white out pen to add dots and lines and even finer dots. You can also use a paint pen or like a metallic Sharpie or just some regular paint, whatever you have on hand to make that really constellation pop off of your probably dark colored watercolor background. Okay, so we are bringing back the Shrinky Dinks. These have been a favorite of ours for so long and we've been wanting to use them, so this is the perfect time to do so. With some Shrinky Dink paper, cut out a circular shape in pencil and then draw out your preferred zodiac symbol. Remember, Shrinky Dinks shrink two to three times their size, so draw big. Go over both of these pencil designs with some Sharpie. From there, we started to cut out the circle with a small gap around the black. We also used a hole punch to add a hole in the top above the black line and cut out around that. This is how we'll attach it to our keychain later. Lastly, we added in thinner Sharpie, a little saying that applies to the individuals with this sign. We wrote a saying that applies to the Scorpio sign. These are super easy to Google and look up what makes sense for your sign. Once that's done, we put our shrinky dinks on parchment paper in a 325 degree oven. Check your shrinky dink package for instructions, but a general rule is to watch it closely. When it's finally stopped bubbling and moving and it's lying flat, let it sit for another 30 seconds and then take it out of the oven and immediately flatten and let it cool with a cardboard or a notebook so the shrinky dink lies flat. 
From there, you can add it to a keychain or use it in whatever way your heart desires. These are so cute, seriously. Good gift idea, too. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's this week, well, we do three videos a week, plus the vlog channel. This Tuesday. This Tuesday's video. Let us know which of the four DIYs was your favorite below, and also let me know what sign you are. Ooh, I know. I feel like I grew up with a lot of Virgos, a lot of Capricorns. I don't even know. I know. <laughs> I like know a little bit about it. I'm starting to like, I'm paying attention now. It's just interesting. Reevaluate your life, guys. Now that you're like older, you're like, who were my friends? What were their signs? Who were my exes? Who's my oh. current? It's just interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> Tell us an interesting fact about the Zodiac below. I'm sure I will learn something new. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, make sure you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And if you... Just kidding. And if you couldn't get enough, check out the vlog channel.